The Tale of Jaden Sancho and Conor Gallagher. Jaden Sancho and Conor Gallagher are at different ends of the summer signing spectrum. Send your views to theater at fotball365.com. Sorry, Sancho is still a flop came across a bad take, seems to be becoming a trend, from Bad Wolf in which it looked like he was giving the big gun and flicking one at the haters on behalf of Sancho, because apparently the narrative around him being a major flop has died. Sorry to be the bearer of bad news, Bad Wolf, but Sancho has two goal contributions in almost 20 appearances. He got hauled off yet again against Norwich, having done nothing with the Norwich fans chanting what a waste of money. So if the narrative around him has died down, it has more to do with people getting bored of making fun of his signing, rather than him proving he isn't a major flop. El Gaucho Man United lack mentality, not personnel Mike, who must really have hated every part of the Ole years thinks this squad is a complete mess with Ole adding another pile of crap, let's break it into its components. Keepers de G has had two bad years, but has greatly improved, would take Henderson Heaton over the second choice at any other team. Central defenders, gone from the Chuckle brothers to a multiple winner in Varane and three flawed internationals individually would take most of the other three over the likes of Stones and Ake. Fullbacks, all loss of brain particles make him a long-term liability the rest are decent enough, City have no useful actual left fullbacks Walker is over 30 Liverpool have no replacements for their two. Central midfield, needed a body in the summer, still needs to be sorted out possibly in January. Bruno is a massive upgrade on when we had Pereira, Fellaini etc. Liverpool have dominated using players selected by Moneyball who came from relegation fodder. Attack, collectively this lot should score as many as any other top four team and we have plugged the right wing problem, Salah is probably the best individual we at best need three first team improvements extra midfielder, one centre back that's faster more reliable than Maguire, and a right back who doesn't pee him once he has gone forward. It's hardly the shambles LVG had assembled that made Pep use City in 2016, and it's much better than what Jose left. So can he get over his grouse with Ole and realize that the key issue holding United back is improving the mentality of players don't start being held accountable for our failures. What United should do is build on finishing second and third the last two years get top four this year make some tweaks and challenge next year, not continuously reboot like a film franchise. Rude, MUFC Moyes will be Moyes, just when you thought the chosen one has finally redeemed himself as a football manager since leaving Everton, his statement at the first sign of trouble, trouble being defined here as West Ham's goalless draw against Burnley this weekend, could have easily been rephrased as it's not me, it's them. Believe me, I'm still an elite manager. TSK, TSK, show solidarity with your players, grow a spine and take some responsibility for the team you lead. Ebram, you'll publish this just for the subject line, won't you? MUFC, Seattle what's the point of Burnley? Was wondering, what's the point of Burnley? Really? A do-nothing team whose only purpose seems to be avoiding relegation. Play non-football, a crap watch. What is the point of Burnley Daryl, Cape Town, hate non-football. Normal service resumed for big 6 plus 1 say what we want about the struggles at Arsenal, Man U and Spurs, but they are now in positions 5 to 7 with a gatecrasher interloper at number 4. Even in the big 6 era, that's not been uncommon, there was Leicester and Wolves knocking on that door. Just saying. And as for the front three, it's shaping up to be an endurance struggle, just like the Tour de France mountain stages. One can't win the Tour during the mountain stages, but one can certainly lose it. It'll be an interesting next one to three winter months. GAB in will loving Gallagher, what a stupendous player Conor Gallagher is. I dare say it, but after the stodginess of the last few years, with Gallagher, Declan Rice and Jude Bellingham, not to mention Mason Mount and Phil Foden, who I maintain, are best as a number eight, England's midfield stocks are looking seriously impressive. Alex Rallis Everton conclusions normal service resumed then. Some conclusions from that shambles. Andre Gomez looks a new player. Maybe a bit of confidence and a freer role are what he needs. Faded badly and made some stupid tackles and wasn't helped by our insistence on wing play, but overall not a bad showing. Tactics were abysmal. Palace had the center of the park to play with and Gallagher pulled the strings. He's a fantastic player and our tactic of let them have the ball then counter using the wings is very clearly countered with fast wingers and highly technical midfielders. Godfrey did okay as a makeshift left back, but his lack of actual left foot means that short of cutting inside it blunts effectiveness on that side, as long as a team can show him the outside we made Palace look like City. That's not a compliment to Palace. A well-drilled team with strong positional sense will make mincemeat out of us every time. Taking Richarlison off is f-king baffling. 
is Benitez trying to get sacked? He might not have done much, but he's a match winner. If you're going to bring a striker on when chasing the game, don't take your best attacking player off. The fans reacted furiously, and rightly so. Rumors of discontent between the manager and the players are all too clear to see. The frustration from the players is evident, from Richarlison's reaction at being subbed to the petty and stupid tackles flying in towards the end. Has the dressing room already been lost? It's starting to look like the Arsenal result was in spite of Benitez, not because of him. The time to make a change is either now or never. We're three weeks away from the January window opening, and I honestly don't rust Benitez to spend any money we may have. All goodwill has evaporated, the honeymoon period is a distant memory. Rafa has lost the fans, seems to be losing the players, and is losing the tactical battle almost weekly. Mashiri needs to either decide to roll the dice again or put up with diamond creating levels of pressure for the rest of the season. Merry Christmas Blues, at least we are not playing someone well drilled and technically sound next, like the Copites or Chels, Ojo M, EFC haha ha, I heard a rumor that Big Dunk actually got sacked 15 years ago, but no one has had the bollocks to tell him. Chris Mew.